Kim Kardashian's attempt to impress Tom Brady at Mike Rubin's exclusive white party has ended in an embarrassing rejection where Tom Brady completely played her a blind eye despite her best efforts to grab his attention, which left her looking desperate. According to the Insighty, Kim Kardashian is feeling humiliated and embarrassed after that incident, not forgetting that her ego and confidence is severely crushed by knowing that she could no longer pull him, because when you look at this year's party, she wasn't seen with him in any pictures, unlike last year. Is Tom Brady avoiding Kim Kardashian at this point? Let's get the tea. As many of you may already know, every 4th of July, Michael Rubin hosts an A-list white party in his home in the Hamptons, and this year was no different, as his party was graced with several A-list appearances like Tom Brady, Drake, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Leonardo DiCaprio, Megan Thee Stallion, Gayle King, and many more, of course, including Khloe and Kim Kardashian. Speaking of Kim Kardashian, when it comes to this annual party, she always uses it as an opportunity to hunt for men to date, use for publicity and all that, but it looks like this year wasn't so much of luck for her because she was totally snubbed by most of them, but let's first take a look at Tom Brady. If you come across most of the pictures that was taken at the party, it will be hard to find one where Kim Kardashian was with Tom Brady and the only reason behind that was because he was ignoring her, in fact he was trying so hard to not be seen with her because he didn't want her to use him like she did last time. In case you missed it, last year at this same party, Kim Kardashian approached Tom Brady and had a person take one of their candid pictures and she used that picture to build a narrative that the two were so close at the party and from there she started a rumor that the two were dating. However, Insiders who attended the same party later came to expose Kim Kardashian and said that that was totally a PR move and a fact moment because they said that I don't know why there are all these rumors about Brady and Kim Kardashian, they barely interacted at all. He actually spent the evening with Emily Latakowski, they were together most of the night and looked very cozy. They didn't live together but if anyone was getting cozy, it was them. Tom Brady was pretty mad about this move that Kim Kardashian pulled because as the rumors kept spreading, he immediately cleared the air out saying that the two are not dating. So from that not so pleasant experience from last year, it looks like Tom Brady this time around tried all his best to avoid to be caught up in the same situation by avoiding to be seen with her despite Kim Kardashian having come ready to pull the same move and to seduce him at the same time because of the outfit she was wearing. To put it simply, while her sister Khloe Kardashian was dressed relatively decent, Kim Kardashian was channeling her inner Bianca Sensori because her top was so bare that her goodies were in full display and according to a lot of things and her history with men, this was a weapon she planned on using to attract Tom Brady and to be able to generate as much news as she did the last time because according to the inside sources, she was desperately wanting to meet him and have a small chat but Tom Brady would always avoid her approach. And for me, while I do believe that she may be looking for a romantic partner doing this, I wouldn't say that it is the only thing she is after because it may also be a strategic plan to market her business. See, she recently introduced her schemes men where she has been mainly using football and basketball players to market it, so her being seen with a man like like Tom Brady alone is a better PR than hiring five ball players to market her business because she knows that the amount of PR the dating rumors will generate will help her tap into his audience more than any business campaign will do because he's one of the greatest footballers to ever exist as he is a former quarterback who played more than 20 seasons in the National Football League. If you look at it that way, you will see that it's 
been a strategic plan she's had shortly before and after introducing her schemes men because lately she's been trying too hard to be seen with sportsmen including Odell Beckham Jr who she had also faked a relationship with Mbappe, who she also tried to seduce at last year's 4th July party, and many others who she uses to generate PR and be able to appeal to their audience, not forgetting when she tried to seduce LeBron James last year when she was at one of his games and she took a picture of him, making him the center of her attention by perfectly fitting his face in her Lakers custom bag, which you could clearly see that LeBron was not impressed impressed by her move because of his facial expressions. But this is not the first time that the Kardashians would be using this strategy as a desperate attempt to try to appeal to a certain audience because that is why Kendall Jenner also matched with Bad Bunny because her family wanted to tap into the Latina audience and what better way to do it than date a Latina popular musician. But because of this, a lot of people, especially the men they are likely to target, have now known their secrets and strategies that they now avoid to be seen with them because they know that once you are seen with one of them, they may use you in their own agendas of cloud chasing and marketing their businesses. The public has had a lot to say about this, especially when she crossed the line with flirting with LeBron James, who is even a married man. Boro One fan said that Kim has become a nuisance to rich men, with another one saying that, and Kim wonders why she's still single. Playing these childish games, maybe a 20-something would, but when she's over 40, it is insane. I feel so bad for her kids. I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up alone for the rest of her life. And the last one said that the Kardashians need to take a hint already and get lost. So, turns out, it is not just the men that are tired of Kim Kardashian's constant advances, but also the general public. And I do feel like at this point, she's just embarrassing herself and if she keeps this up, she may reach a point where she's not even invited to these kind of parties already because people will be tired of her moves. Anyways, I appreciate you for taking this much time to watch my video. If you made it this far, you may as well tell me what you think about this and how you think Kim Kardashian's moves will affect her and her public image. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned. For